And finally tonight, what kind of man would use his body as a shield to save another man from a live grenade? This kind. This is 24-year-old Corporal Kyle Carpenter of South Carolina receiving the nation's highest military honor today for doing just that. David Martin has his story. This is a moment you never see. The commander-in-chief telling a young Marine at home with his family he will receive the Medal of Honor. For your uh, courageous actions in Afghanistan. For an action in which then Lance Corporal Kyle Carpenter thought he had been killed. The first Marines that got to me, I told them I was not going to make it. And I kept telling them over and over that I was going to die. Do you know in retrospect how close you in fact came to dying? I was labeled PEA, which is patient expired on arrival. I guess that's the politically correct way of saying you didn't make it. According to the citation, Carpenter threw himself between a grenade and his fellow Marine, Nicholas Euphrazio, absorbing the brunt of the blast. I was blinded in my right eye. Um, I had to have shrapnel removed from my brain. I had penetrating wounds through my carotid artery in my neck. He also suffered 30 fractures to his right arm, shrapnel in both legs, and lost most of his lower teeth. Those injuries, which required 40 surgeries, became part of the evidence attesting to what Carpenter had done. Kyle, you, you are one of the most brave individuals. We are so honored to have you here today and sustained so many injuries and repair, did you? One thing that remained untouched was a tattoo that you have with Psalms on it. Can you tell us what, what that says? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, it is uh, out of the book of Psalms. And um, it says, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle and my fingers for war. And, um, you know, that absolutely pertained to me and my fellow Marines uh, that were going to be to the right and left of me fighting day in and day out. And we all understood uh, that there was a good chance that many of us were not going to make it back. So uh, we knew what we were going into. We didn't know how bad it was going to be, but... Uh, you know, I, I am a, I'm a believer, and I knew over there that I would need my faith. And, you know, they say no atheists in foxholes, and uh, we knew what was coming. So uh, that's always going to be a part of me, and it, it's, it's always going to it's always gonna be there. And, and it, it touched a lot of the lives of my medical staff that, that worked on me day in and day out. Do you have any doubt in your own mind that you fell on that grenade? I'll say I'm not surprise because I know that if you put a thousand Marines in that situation they would all do the exact same thing for me. But on November 21st 2010 there was only one Marine in that situation and now he wears his country's highest honor. David Martin, CBS News, Washington.